Hi everyone. Moving on to the next one in the series, which is known as balls and bins. What we do in this is that there are say B bins. Okay, we randomly toss balls. into these bins bins and the probability is equally likely to equally likely that they can end up in any of the bins okay we randomly toss balls to land in some any of the bin okay so let's start probability that the ball land in any given bin will be 1 by b as there are b bins okay so this what we ha huh. let me tell you another thing that this model that is falling in a bin is the same as the model used in hashing so when we hash a text or code or something what is the probability that it will lie it will in some particular hash it will match on to particular hash as there is a hash table and the probability that two codes match in the same hash is the same as balls falling in the beans okay so what we do now is we answer some questions here the first one how many fall that is how many ball will fall in a given bean bin so according to the binomial distribution expect with the n balls there will be that n by b in a given bin according to binomial distribution the next question comes up is how many balls we must toss on average until a bin contains a ball so as the probability of success was 1 by b so for the what say bernoulli trials it is expected success b1 by probability of success and it is 1 by 1 by b equals to b okay so we must toss b balls to get in a bin now the third one is how many must be how many must be tossed so that every bin contains so the third one is how many balls we must toss so that every bin contains at least one ball okay this will be a long one and we will be analyzing it say when a ball lands in a bin we call it a 
hit okay we will call it hit so in the ith stage let's define the ith stage is when i minus 1 hits have occurred that is in ith stage ith stage i minus 1 bins already have balls so i i minus 1 hits have already occurred in i stage so for each each toss in the i stage as i minus 1 bins contain balls so b minus i minus 1 are empty so the probability of getting a hit that is the ball landing in a bin probability of hit at ith stage is b minus i expanding this will be b minus i plus 1 ok so b minus i plus 1 by what was there b so probability of it at ith stage is this that is the empty by the total so now let we n i be the number of tosses in the ith stage we have to do tosses in ith stage So number of tosses we have to do um, to get in the ith stage okay so to get b hits the number of tosses we do will be the sigma of 1 to b that is n of i this will be the total so this follows a geometric progression of this okay the probability that is b minus i plus 1 we will be doing the geometric progression of this probability and the expectation i will directly tell you the formula the expectation of a geometric distribution is given by E of say Ni B by no 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 is given by let's say okay first general form E of X is equal to 1 by P so for e of n i it will be 1 by p that is 1 by b by b minus i plus 1 that is p minus it is 1 by p hmm. so this was the okay the expectation is in 1 by p and our p is b minus i plus 1 by b so 1 by b minus i plus 1 by b b goes to the numerator p minus i plus 1 so for those n tosses that is e of n we will be summing it for n okay i equal to 1 to b for b bins n of i following the linearity again sigma equal to 1 to b e of n i and what was it it was b by b i b minus i plus 1 so sigma equal to 1 to b 
b by b minus i plus 1 so if you see that uh, putting values of i it will be 1 by b minus 1 plus 1 then 1 by b minus 2 plus 1 go on till 1 by 1 so it is just actually simplified as 1 by i as you will see that it will move at this value is 1 by b so putting if you put this i equal to 1 it is 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 till 1 by b which is the same as this one that is 1 by b minus 1 plus 1 1 by b minus 2 till 1 by 1 so hence this is simplified as this and as we know taking this b was here okay I have solved the denominator so as we know this is uh, by nth harmonic we can solve that this expression will give log of n b plus o of 1 so this is our final expression by nth harmonic equation so there take there is there approx b log of n b tosses before we expect that every bin has a ball the problem of this ball and bean is sometimes also known as a coupon collector problem what is it that in this a person a guy tries to collect b different coupons so how many he must buy randomly so will he will be having each type of b different coupon it is like he buys b of log of n b coupons to get this many different coupons it is the same as getting b hits in our balls and bins problem so that's all in this probabilistic analysis series okay see you next time